across peasant villages of Italy, France, and Spain, a new sickness spread among those who lived almost entirely on maize porridge. It began quietly with fatigue, dizziness, and swollen tongues, but soon erupted into madness and lesions that bloomed like bruised petals across the skin. In 1735, Spanish physician Gaspar Casal recorded its symptoms among the poor of the Asturias, calling it mal de la rosa, the sickness of the rose. What he didn't know was that the cure already existed and had for millennia. Mesoamerican cooks called it nixtamalization. It sounds like sorcery because, frankly, it kind of is. Or at the very least, let's call it culinary alchemy that turns poison into nutrition. Kernels are soaked and boiled in an alkaline bath of wood ash or lime water, which loosens the hulls, softens the starches, and releases niacin, the vitamin B3 molecule essential for human survival. The process also increases protein quality, doubles calcium, and unlocks amino acids that would otherwise stay trapped. Without nixtamalization, the body can't absorb niacin. Diets heavy in unprocessed maize led to pellagra, the disease of four Ds, dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia, and death. Researchers traced Pelagra's cause to a niacin deficiency, proving that the so-called primitive practice was a sophisticated form of nutritional engineering. Cook the chemistry, or it will consume you. 